Hello, third graders. Uh, welcome to video number 11. Today's video is titled, Using Text Structures to Organize Your Learning and Note-Taking. Third graders, you've been doing really smart work. You've been doing the smart work of taking notes across one subtopic. You have your notebooks and uh, you're taking notes across several articles on one subtopic, whether it is habitat, diet, body, uh, babies, or dangers or behaviors. Um, you've been doing the very, very important work of taking notes. However, reading researchers don't just take a zillion notes and put them all in one big pile. No, no, reading researchers make subsections just like you've done in their notebooks. And third graders, they use text structure. So today I want to teach you uh, how to use text structure to organize your learning and your note taking. Today's structure that we are going to focus on is called boxes and bullets boxes and bullets, um, <clears throat> what you want to do is find the main idea and the supporting detail. So third graders, boxes and bullets in your reading notebook, when you take notes, <clears throat> you can make a square and that's where you put your main idea. So this is the box and then your bullets are the supporting details. So your details have to go with your main idea, third graders. So today, I want you to listen as I read, and I'm going to try to determine the main idea in a text and what are those supporting details. So this is the structure that I want you to, to use um, as you continue your note-taking skills. Okay, ready to listen? Today, I am going to read, um, let's see, it's, it's a text about, about frogs. <clears throat> Some frogs and toads have beautiful eyes that come in brilliant colors. Some eyes look like gold or silver. Others look like jewels of red, blue, or green. A frog's or toad's eyes are white apart and they bulge from the top of their head. The frog or toad can see above, beside, ahead, and even behind itself to look for food or enemies. Do you notice that I'm trying to read with fluency and with drama in my voice because I really want to understand this text and I, I want to pop out things that will help me better understand the main idea. Frog and toads see well at night. They are also good at seeing moving things. A fly can sit in front of a frog's nose and the frog will not notice it. But if the fly moves, the frog will eat it, eat it in a flash. Frogs and toads have an extra eyelid. They can see through this clear eyelid. It covers their eyes like a diver's mask when they are swimming. Third graders, I am noticing that the main idea is not um, explicitly stated in the beginning or the end. I have a lot of interesting information and it's titled Big Bulging Eyes. I highlighted that for you. But third graders, I'm thinking that's not the main idea. I mean, who or what has big bulging eyes? And so I went through the text and I also highlighted um, the beginning of each sentence and I am noticing the beginning of each sentence has something about frog and toads and their eyes. So hmm, that gives me the information that the main idea is about frog and toads eyes. However, third graders, I want to pop out my main idea. I want to make it more interesting. So I'm thinking 
Wow, that was a lot of interesting information about their eyes. Uh, they're beautiful. They can do some interesting things. So my main idea is going to be frog and toads. Their eyes are unique. That means very different. Main idea, frog and toads eyes are unique. And then, and then third grade readers, I went through again and I noticed that each little paragraph here is about one specific thing about their eyes. And so I went through and I um, wrote those very interesting details and third graders, those are called my bullets or as you know, the supporting details. So my main idea, frog and toad's eyes are unique and then <clears throat> the supporting details I have, some eyes, some have eyes that are brilliant colors like gold and jewels, far apart and on top of their head so they can see all around. Um, frog and toads, uh, their eyes help them see at night and both have an extra eyelid so they can see when they are swimming. So here is my box with my main idea and Oh, can you see that third grader? Sorry. My box with my main idea and my bullets. So third graders, today and every day when you take notes, can you organize your notes um, in a box and then bullets, main idea, supporting detail. Your details have to be all about your box. And I'm double checking. Hmm. Yes, my box is about a frog and toads have unique eyes, and my details are all about what makes their eyes so unique. So, yes, uh, where's my little pointer stick? Sorry, right here. <clears throat> we use boxes and bullets. So main idea in the box, supporting detail, supporting detail. And boys and girls, you can add more bullet points if your text includes them. So I found four supporting details or four bullets. So your, your homework assignment today, third graders, is to look across one <clears throat> subsection of your notebook and organize those notes into a main idea box and then the bullets, the supporting details. Okay, third graders, you are learning a lot of really cool research skills that you will use um, in fourth grade, I know for sure, fifth grade, and all through middle school and high school. So keep practicing and remember to read um, with fluency and with some drama so that um, you can better comprehend what you're reading. Okay, be kind to each other and um, Help your mom or your siblings today, or maybe grandma or grandpa. So uh, be kind today, third graders. Thank you, and I miss you.